Hello yogis and welcome to my channel. I'm Oksana. Today we are doing power yoga for strong arms and shoulders. Let's get started. <music> Please consult your doctor and make sure that the practice is suitable for you. Take care and enjoy. Let's begin our practice in a comfortable wide leg child pose, keeping the big toes in touch and knees comfortably wide, relaxing through the head, shoulders and both arms. Take a moment to ground, take a moment to catch your breath. Pressing into the palms, coming up to the hands and knees, tabletop, and press your hips forward and backward. Let's warm up that wrist, knuckles, and each tip of your finger, preparing for pretty hard work. Then find your center, align your wrists with the shoulders, knees with the hips, and let's go for the upper body circles. And then reversing. Find your center. And as you inhale, drop your belly down, chest up. And as you exhale, chin tuck, back stretch. Inhaling, lifting through the crown. And exhaling, pulling the navel into your spine. Traditional cat and cow, waking up the spine and back. Well done guys, neutral spine, extend your right arm forward and left leg back, spinal balance. Keep your hips in one level and start pulsing, lifting arm and leg up and down. Hold for a moment. Release your right palm. I'm gonna go for the one leg push-ups, dropping the chest down and lifting up. Push down and up. Let's go for three more. One and two and three. Hold. Keep your elbows in. Release your left leg down and flow out into the upward dog. Shoulder is down, neck is open. As you exhale, let's take a tabletop. We're going to upside down both hands, fingers facing into the knees and holding for a moment. You can check my video for the wrist stretch. I'm going to leave the link below. So let's get back to the tabletop and switching, reaching through the left arm and right leg. Spinal balance, go ahead and start lifting and dropping that arm and leg up and down. Make sure that your core is tight and active. Releasing the left palm down. Are you ready for five push-ups? For one, press up, for two, and up, and three, just two more, four, and for five, we're going to hold active palms, squeezing the shoulder blades. Well done, guys. Flow out, upward dog, opening through the heart. And as you exhale, take a moment in child pose and relax. Relax mainly through the shoulders, wrist, fingers. And start rolling up to the hero pose. Big inhale, reaching up through the fingertips. And as you exhale, clasp your fingers behind your back, lift through the heart, chin up. 
Take one more big inhale and as you exhale, small inversion, rolling up to the crown of the head. Keep pressing the hands up away from the shoulder blades. And very gently release. Inhale, arms up and exhale, palms to the heart. Press your palms into the mat and let's meet in downward dog. Hands with a shoulder distance apart. Start paddling, walking in one place, relaxing your head and neck. And just continue walking up to the front of the mat. As you inhale, take a halfway. And as you exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up, up to the tall mountain. And exhale, palms to the heart. Let's take a five, ten circles through the both arms. That's very simple, but great warm up for the shoulders. And then reversing to the other direction. Alright, big inhale, reaching through the fingertips, maybe gentle back bend, and exhale, forward bend, hand to the knees. As you inhale, open some space, halfway up, exhale, stepping back, plank, knees down, easy chaturanga. As you inhale, upward dog, and let's get back to the downward dog, pressing the hips up and chest down. Start stepping forward to the front. As you inhale, halfway. Exhale, hinging from the hips, forward bend. Inhale, rise up and shine. Exhale, collect your palms to the heart. And again, big inhale with a back bend. Exhaling, forward bend, head to the knees. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, jump back, plank. Let's drop our knees down again, lifting the both feet. I'm going to go for Chaturanga for five, for four, for three, for two, one more time, and one. Good. Lower down and rise up into the upward dog. Exhale back to the downward dog. I believe you guys burning through the arms, triceps and biceps. Stay strong. That's really great practice for your handstand and even just for any arm balance. Stepping, jumping forward, halfway, exhale, forward bend, and then rise up, up to the standing, palms to the heart. And let's continue inhaling, back bending, exhaling, folding down. Inhale, opening some space, jumping back, plank, chaturanga, Upward dog as you inhale and downward dog as you exhale. And again, plank, upper push up, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. We're almost there. Plank, you can drop your knees down, upward dog. Exhale, press through the hips, downward dog. Last one, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, guys. Take a moment in downward dog. Big inhale. And as you exhale, dropping the knees down, take a well-deserved rest in the child pose. Normalize your breath. Take a couple of breaths out through the mouth. Letting go any physical tension. Now let's get back to the tabletop. And let's get back to the downward dog as we exhale. Bend your knees slightly and jump forward to the front. Inhale halfway. Exhale forward bend. Inhaling rising up. Exhaling palms over the heart. Inhaling back bending, 
exhaling diving down inhaling flat back halfway up exhale jump back chaturanga directly upward dog and downward dog so you have already some options that you can either drop your knees down or keep your legs active so here we have with you transitioning plank back to the downward dog plank and then downward dog and continue chaturanga hold upward dog back to the plank halfway chaturanga upward dog and plank halfway down chaturanga upward dog we're almost there guys plank chaturanga upward dog and plank chaturanga upward dog exhaling into the child pose that's great job guys take a moment just drop everything down relax your shoulders notice how you're feeling guys let's get back to our work tabletop how was you stretching fingers reaching to the corners of the mat and heart reaching down to the earth poppy pose opening through the shoulder blades chest and start walking your hands back and let's take a downward dog exhale taking the right leg up one leg downward dog exhale take one leg plank exhale one leg chaturanga upward dog and downward dog so basically it's one leg vinyasa left leg up one leg plank one leg chaturanga upward dog exhale downward dog right leg up step it in between the hands dropping the back knee down into the low lunge arjuniyasana bending the elbows opening through the heart reaching up clasping the fingers behind the back and reaching up through the heart and as you exhale dive into the peaceful warrior inhale unlock your arms reach up through the fingers exhale one leg vinyasa guys right leg reaching up chaturanga upward dog and exhale downward dog well done get ready for the left leg lift step it in between the hands dropping the back knee down arjuniyasana reaching up through the fingertips cactusing the arms squeezing the shoulder blades stay low as your hips and then clasping the fingers behind the back sending your heart up to the sky opening through the neck and as you exhale fall down inside of the left inner thigh sweeping the arms up as you inhale and as you exhale pressing into the hands lifting the left leg one leg vinyasa upward dog exhale downward dog Take a big inhale and downward dog as you exhale child pose relaxing through the back relaxing through the hips knees and feet and then slowly rolling up rising through the fingertips crossing the wrists catching the elbows pressing your heart forward and reaching your elbows back release your hands down and again press it back elbows down and up and 
Good. Let's release our palms. Get back to the downward dog. And taking your right leg up, stepping in between the hands, up to the high lounge, reaching up through the fingertips. As you exhale, warrior two, open up through the chest and hips. Arms align with the shoulders. Now clasp your fingers, bring it over the left hip and take a reverse warrior two. Spread your arms again. And then circle the arms down, one leg vinyasa, right leg up, chaturanga, upward dog, and back to the plank. And how was your five push ups here? Two, three, four, and five. Press your hips up, downward dog. Let's take our left leg, get ready, lift it up, inhale. Step it in between the hands, exhale. Sweep your arms up, lunge. Exhaling, warrior two. Fingers clasp over the right hip. Take a warrior two, reverse. Open to the warrior two, circle the hands down, one leg vinyasa. You can always keep one leg vinyasa and just pick up the option which works for you. Five push-ups, guys. Don't forget. Second round. And back to our downward dog as we exhale. Well done, guys. Our standing sequence are done. We have some fun with you on the mat. So jump forward to the cross legs position. Make sure that you're comfortable enough. Continue with the shoulder circles. Now as you inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Interlace your fingers, press your palms up to the sky. As you exhale, right palm down, reach up and over to your right through the left arm, side stretch. Close your left shoulder. Lap stretch, reach up, again interlace your fingers, side stretch up and over to your left, closing your right shoulder a bit, stretching the lat, back up, good. And from here we're gonna just keeping the knees bent, catching the knees from inside, inhaling, arching, and exhaling, rounding chin to the chest. And again, inhaling, lifting through the heart. Exhaling, chin tuck, back stretch. How was your last sequence, guys? So let's do that. Keeping the feet and knees over each other, palms behind you, press up to the reverse tabletop. You can always keep your chin tuck to the chest. Now take a big inhale here and as you exhale, we're going to slide the hips back between the elbows. As you inhale, press up, reverse tabletop and back to the arm balance. Try to make five repetitions. And the last one, hold. And then release your hips down. Bravo, guys. Reaching up through the fingertips. Exhale, spinal twist to your left. Both palms on the mat. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips one more time. Exhale, spinal twist to your right. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bring your palms again behind. Fingers in. Flex your feet. Press up into the reverse plank position. Keep reaching down through the tippy toes. And big exhale, release. And finally, we're going to ground down into the mat and pull the both knees into the chest.
And now exhale, stretch out through the good morning stretch. Catch your elbows, press your elbows down to the mat. And let's take a half moon pose. So your both legs to your right and your upper body to the right. You can cross your left leg over the right. Go a little bit deeper. We'll find the other side. Both legs, upper body reaching up and over to your left. It's like a banana shape or half moon shape. And get back to the center. Let's bend both knees. Bring the right knee over the left. Lift your both feet up. And send your legs to your right. And gaze over the left shoulder. Breathe through the lower back. Keep your belly soft. Your shoulders are grounded. Get back to the center. Switch your cross. And as you exhale, both legs to the left. And gaze over the right shoulder. All right, guys. Back to the center. Drop your both knees right and left. Active spinal twist. You can cactus your arms, opening through the heart. And let's stretch our both legs forward to the corners of the mat. Make your arms comfortable. And let's take a moment to enjoy all benefits of our practice through the full relaxation. Remember, you can always stay as long as you want in Shavasana time. Relaxing completely from the tips of the toes up to the crown of the head. Notice how you're feeling through the shoulders, arms, and stretch that arms up and over the head. Bending the both knees and turning to the left side. Once you're ready, press up to the comfortable sitting position. Big inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, palms to the heart. And let's close our practice with some neck stretch. Just simple neck circles. Three, four rounds, one direction. And then you can reverse. And then drop your chin down to the chest and lift your chin up. Up and down. Collect your palms to your heart. Start rubbing the hands. Cover your eyes, blink and open. And thank you guys for joining my practice. I hope you enjoyed and had lots of fun. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.